Hello, it's Christina. It's been a really long time coming, but I'm back with a new makeup tutorial just in time for Valentine's Day. To get this makeup look started, I'm going to start by prepping my eyelids using an eyeshadow primer all over my lids. The eyebrows are very important to frame your face, so of course we cannot forget to fill them in. And I'm going to be using a dark grey color to fill my eyebrows following just the natural shape of them. And then using a spoolie, I'm going to blend out the color to make it seem more natural and seamless. Using a brown mascara, I'm just going to set my eyebrows in place. To give the illusion of having fuller lashes and bigger and brighter eyes, I'm going to tightline my upper waterline using a gel black liner and an angled brush. Now using this beautiful pony eyeshadow palette from Mimi Box, I'll be using the champagne color as a base. Next, using this light brown shade, I'm going to be applying it in the outer thirds of my eyes. And using the darkest brown shade in the eyeshadow palette, I'll be applying it in the outer corners to give my eyes more depth and definition. Then using the shimmery pink shade in the palette, I'm going to use that color to blend out all the harsh lines. Also, don't forget to apply it in the inner corners. Using the same black gel liner and angled brush as before, I'll be using that to create my sharp cat eye look. I'm also going to tightline my lower waterline in the inner and outer corners, leaving the middle space blank. Now it's time to curl the lashes to prepare them for falsies and mascara. For this look, I opted to use a natural set of falsies and after many tries, I finally managed to put it on. Then using a black liquid liner, I'm just going to fill in the gaps that is between my lashes and the falsies to blend it all in together. And to finish the eye makeup look, I'm going to be applying generous coats of mascara to both my real lashes and falsies to blend it all together. Now that the eye makeup is done, it's time to focus on covering all my hyperpigmentation and acne scarring using a high cover concealer. And the Makeup Forever Concealer in number 5 is my all-time favorite. And I'm just using a Sigma brush to blend in all the concealer. Now to brighten up my eye area, I'm using a lighter concealer to highlight that area. And this one is the Laneige BB Cushion Concealer. I usually like to put concealer on first and then put on my BB cream or foundation and in this case I'm using the Laneige Pore Control BB Cushion. For a more defined face, I'll be using this Too Cool For School contouring palette to contour along the hollows of my cheeks, my jawline, as well as my hairline. This palette has three different colors, but what I like to do, I just like to swirl all the colors together with my brush and apply it. To contour my nose, I like to use the middle shade, which is the light brown shade, to contour along the nose to make it seem that I have a higher nose bridge. 
to chisel out my face even more, I'll be using a cream contour shade and I'll just be using that at the hollows of my cheeks as well as along my jawline for a more deeper and more defined look. Now going back to that Mimi Box eyeshadow palette, I'll be using that white shade to highlight. Now we'll be moving on to the lips and using a universal lip pencil, I'll be outlining and filling in my lips. Now using this beautiful red shade from Lancome, I'll be using it on my lips but because it's such a high pigmented color, I was being very very careful to apply it within the confines of my lip outline. But despite my efforts, I still messed up a little bit, so using a little bit of concealer, I'm going to cover up all those mistakes. And with that, this makeup look is complete. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!